Hi everybody, how are you? Thank you for stopping by my channel and checking out my video. I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to come out with what I hope is a fairly quick video comparing a couple of nail polishes that I have been trying. I don't know about you, but there are so many different options out on the market. How do you know what's going to work for you and what's not? So hopefully this will give you some information on two different types and what could be best for you. I am one of these kind of people that if my nail polish starts chipping, I'm, I'm a, I pick and pick. I get obsessed with it because I can't stand that look. And I'm one of these kind of people that I do change up my polish probably every three or four days, but during that three or four days, I want it to look good while it's on my nails. So I'm going to compare two different lines within the same company by CND. Shellac has been around a long time and we all know about it. And this is its little sister now, Vinyl Lux. So let's talk about the difference. Shellac, 57 colors. Vinyl Lux, 62. So you're going to get every color that you liked over here in here, plus a few. As you can see, the bottle is definitely smaller. Let me turn it around like it should be. There. In shellac, it's uh, 7.3 ml, Vinyl Lux 15 ml. With shellac, it says it's up to two weeks wear, Vinyl Lux up to seven days. With shellac, you do need a UV light. You use a base coat. First, you prep your nails, base coat at least two colors, uh, two coats of the color, and then a top coat, curing each one in between a minute to two minutes. With Vinyl Lux, there's no base coat, two coats of color, and then you use a top coat and allow it to dry for eight and a half minutes, and then it's dry. Great. Now, price. When I went onto Amazon, Shellac's running anywhere from $14 to $19, depending on the color and the vendor. Vinyl Lux is running $6 to $8. A little difference there. Removal. Shellac can take a while to come off, and it can take 15, 20 minutes. With Vinyl Lux, it comes off with remover and a cotton pad, so it's much quicker. And for someone like me who changes like every three to four days, that's a big selling point on this. Now, the big difference I see, I wish this did a little bit of what this does. With shellac, it leaves your nails looking smooth like glass. It fills in those imperfections and gives you that nice smooth finish. Unfortunately, with Vinyl Lux, it doesn't do that. So if you have very ridged or um, kind of you can see the imperfections in your nails. If you can buff them and smooth them out before using Vinyl Lux, you'll get a much better look. Otherwise, it's going to show your imperfections. That's the one thing I wish this did was give you that nice, smooth finish that this does. So that's just my impressions of them. For me, being a do-it-yourself kind of girl, because I don't go and get my nails done, and I do like to change my polish frequently, this is a better option for me. I just wish it did give me that nice, smoother finish. So I have read that if you use the top coat of the Vinyl Lux, you can use it over other polishes and it will give you that longer wear. I don't know, I haven't tried that. So I'm probably, what I'm gonna do is use like a base coat, you know, ridge filler, then use another polish the color and then use this over the top to see if that works and see if that gives me more of that glass look that I want that smooth look but that's what I've read so I don't know if that's true or not I can come out with an update once I do try it but I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the two this one is in purple purple and this is dark dahlia which is actually what I have on today I did buy two other colors this is faux fur which is a brown I never thought I'd wear brown on my nails but okay we'll see hopefully it's fun and then night glimmer I thought this was really pretty because it's a dark like steel gray with some glitter in it. It reminded me, now this is just my impression, of the Chanel Graphite. And I thought Chanel Graphite was always so pretty. So this is nice, but 
If you haven't tried the Vinyl Lux, you know, it might be something that will work well for you that will help you have a nice manicure at home. So until the next video, I wish you all a great day. If you haven't subscribed, please do so down below. And if there's anything you would like for me to do a video on, please let me know because I'm always open to options and positive comments. So take care. Bye-bye.